Hi, welcome to Max Wheeler. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts and first impressions of the riding shoes Dainisi Dork Waterproof. Welcome to Max Wheeler. In this series, we're gonna talk about protection gear. And I would like to start with the shoes. We're gonna go from the bottom to the top. So the shoes that I have here are the Dainisi York Waterproof. I bought them because of looks, to be honest with you. And I, I really thought they're gonna look very good with my gear and EUCs. But before I unbox them, I wanna share with you what I used to wear before. I used to wear these shoes most of the time. And I had the accident with these shoes. Unfortunately, nothing happened, they were good but I have uh, some uh, rupture there of the material, probably because when I flew, it impacted or scratched it there and I got uh, this little uh, mark here. But totally unsafe, very comfortable, but totally unsafe. Uh, if you guys ride with this, just be careful and consider in buying a special gear for your feet because we have many bones there and in case of an accident, we are not very protected. And it's a very important thing. So also, I used to drive in these boots. These boots are heavy. They are like Timberlands, the classic ones. But I felt that I was a bit more protected against uh, the elements of a crash. But they were not as comfortable as the shoes. And using them with uh, shorts is like impossible or you will look very weird or using them with like uh, pants also, it's a bit iffy, but they were, they were useful, but too heavy for, for me. And also the, the sole was uh, grippy, but not as grippy, unless you had like uh, uh, spike pedals. And lastly, I used to wear these uh, blonde stones. They were very nice, they're slim, I like it. They are not the waterproof model, but they are okay. But the thing and funny thing is that when I was driving spike pedals, it hurt my feet. So that's a good thing to mention. And now let's unbox my special purpose uh, shoes for driving electric unicycles. So we have the Dainisi. Uh, this is an Italian brand and I got the York model. Okay, we have some instructions here, which are very nice. Yeah, it's like very thick booklet. We have this nice cover and there you go. You have them right here. As you can see, they look like a regular sneaker, but they encompass all the security that you need to have for a motorcycle. And I think that that's, that makes them a very good candidate for the unicycle world. So I bought the water, the waterproof model. They offer two, the waterproof and the, and the regular ones. I choose the waterproof model because if I'm gonna be in a very hostile environment, I believe that this model will help me to navigate towards uh, the exit of that uh, type of situation. The materials are very nice. They feel very good at the touch. The sole is super grippy. Like you can like hear like that. And now I think that the grip tape on the, for example, Veteran Sherman pedals are gonna be very useful for this type of shoe. Uh, as you can see, versatility is very nice. You can use them with shorts, you can use them with pants, with whatever you throw at. Uh, the, the price is a bit expensive. It's on the expensive side. It's worth about $300 Canadian. Probably that's like what uh, some like Adidas shoes go for, but this has like more security and probably it's a good investment. The, there are many different type of shoes from different brands like Alpine Star and Dainisi, but I think these both uh, brands are very good candidates to be in our sport. These uh, York shoes, they, they run, let me try them on. Normally on Nike shoes and Adidas shoes, I use 11 and a half. And I think that, yeah, these are 11 and a half. They, they run true to size. I feel, yeah, I feel them very comfortable. I'm gonna give them a test drive and see how they actually perform while driving the unicycle. 
but I can tell you that the grip is, is, is the first time I had like some shoes that really grip uh, surfaces. I really like the colors and how they, they feel on my feet. I feel protected. For this test, I chose the master because I wanted to see if I had some trouble with the spike pedals. As the other boots that I use, I used to feel them and it was very uncomfortable for me. But with these shoes, they pass the test. Furthermore, you can appreciate how the shoe is perfectly aligned with the pad. So if I have to kind of pull the wheel or encounter a hole or something that I need to lift the wheel with my feet, I'm gonna be able to do it just fine. Another thing that I discovered is when I was using these shoes, I was able to control better the unicycle. It was like being attached to them. Kind of the sensation that you have when you have some clips on your bicycle and you feel completely attached to it. I had this uh, experience when I was testing these uh, shoes on my unicycle. Also, I would like to mention that when you are trying to accommodate your feet with this type of shoes, it's a bit hard because it's so grippy that when you're trying to unclip or trying to move your feet, you're going to have trouble. Probably it's going to just like take some time to, to get used to that and I will be able to do it. But when I was doing this test, I was so attached to the unicycle that I felt that I was about to, to get down because I was trying to put my feet in the correct place. But I will keep testing and give you an update in what happened with these uh, new shoes. As you can see, they have uh, a different type of material which is made for more cycling when you're doing the, the gear changes. So it's a bit thicker than the regular material. And I think it's gonna be very good for us that have some pads and then we need to grip from this part of the shoe. So that, that will make it a very good uh, option for us. Uh, for, for this type of thing, I would like everyone to write on the comments if uh, they use a special gear uh, for their foot and what type of shoes. I, I'm sure that there are some cheaper options on, on this type of uh, protection gear, but uh, go for what you're gonna use. That's why I went for this and I'm really excited to test them and see how they perform on a real world scenario. The size of the shoe, like that, the size of, of, the, of how it's made, is kind of having like a boot. So you, you, you're gonna feel very grippy to your UC while you're using this type of shoes. Even though it's a shoe, it's like more like a boot. And that's a, a connection that we have with our EUC and it's very important to have. As you can see, it bends, but not as much. It's not, uh, not as much. So in case of an accident, it's very good and I think it's gonna do it very well. Also, I'm noticing that there are some protections here on the ankles and I think that in case of a crash, these are gonna like support you. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next ride.